Budding pop stars in search of fame and fortune would normally send a demo tape to a DJ or a record label. But the band Hamfatter has rejected that route. Last night they entered the fearsome Dragon's Den. So was the proposal music to the ears of the entrepreneurs? Well, our entertainment correspondent Lizo Mazimba has been to meet the group. Usually it's people with a traditional business idea or product who stand in front of the dragons asking for cash. Your product is ridiculous. This is not a commercial opportunity. I'm going to make an offer. But last night, it was a band from the east of England. A band who thought it might turn out to be a pretty bad idea. I don't have a TV, so I'd never seen the programme. Um, and these guys were totally against the idea. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible, terrible idea. Um, but I was wrong. <laughs> I'm going to offer you the full amount of money, 75,000. And I want in return 30%. They decided to go with that offer from Peter Jones, and now they're hoping that his business experience, along with their appearance in front of an audience of millions on Dragon's Den, will help set them apart from other bands. And we'll find out whether it's a strategy that will help Ham Fatter break into the big time when their new single and album are released in a few weeks. Lisa Mazimba, BBC News. Well, good luck to them. Now, though, back to our main story. One of the world's most wanted men, the former Bosnian Serb leader, Radovan Karadzic, has been arrested in Belgrade. A judge has ordered his transfer to the United Nations War Crimes Court in The Hague, where he's charged with genocide and crimes against humanity. Well, Ben Brown is at The Hague, and a momentous day then, Ben. Absolutely, Kate, and they're expecting him here in The Hague at the prison behind me. We're not sure whether it'll be today or a few days, but when he comes here, he'll be flown to a, a military base nearby and then helicoptered in uh, behind the walls of the prison just uh, behind me, and there he will be incarcerated. They're getting the cell ready for him now. People at The Hague War Crimes Tribunal, they've always wondered why it's taken so long for Radovan Karadzic to be captured. Was it really that hard, they say, to track him down? NATO troops went after him, special forces went after him. They couldn't find him, partly at least it seems, because there was just never the political will in Serbia for him to be captured and handed over. All that's changed with a change of government in Belgrade this month that wants to be part of the European Union and his continued freedom was really...